but actually it's during the Chosun dynasty, so I'm going to call it, I'm going to say the people of Chosun, okay? <laughs> the kingdom of Chosun, because the, the dynasty before that one was Korea, which sounds like Korea, that's where we get the word from, but this is about Chosun. And Yeon Sangun was a very bad king, and I learned about him because I found the folk tale, and in the last year of his reign, which would have been 1506, supposedly this woman did this thing. So, okay, one clever wife, um, which is based on the resourceful wife. <laughs> In the kingdom of Chosun, when Yun Sangun was king, his illness infected the land. He killed all who defied him and closed centers of learning. Writing the language was banned. In his last year as king, before he was deposed, frightened women were brought to the palace. He sent out his thugs to search far and wide for beauties to mar with his malice. The people of Chosen lived always in fear, knowing someday Yon San's men might appear. Maiden or married, the king did not care. He required entertainers, the fairest of fair. If any resisted, she paid with her life. None ever escaped to save one clever wife. A young minister's wife was so achingly lovely that he knew very soon he would lose her. He bade her stay inside, but she chose to live free, and he could not bear to refuse her. Ye Jin told her husband she'd never submit. He could not stand the thought of her killed. When the men finally came, he urged her to just go. And by then, her defenses had stilled. The people of Chosen lived always in fear, knowing someday Yon San's men might appear. Maiden or married, the king did not care. He required entertainers, the fairest of fair. If any resisted, she paid with her life. None ever escaped, save one clever wife. Ye Jean entered the court with those newly arrived, standing tall amongst all those who cowered. The king saw her confidence, he was intrigued, so she'd be the first he devoured. He bade her come near him, and as she approached, her stench was a nasty assault. The king flinched in horror and sent Ye Jean home, likely holding his henchmen at fault. The people of Chosen lived always in fear, Knowing someday Yun San's men might appear. Maiden or married, the king did not care. He required entertainers, the fairest affair. If any resisted, she paid with her life. None ever escaped save one clever wife. When she returned, Ye Jean's spouse was amazed as she pulled rotting meat from her clothes. She'd kept a slice held tight under each arm, her brilliance none could oppose. The minister cried and laughed all at once. He nearly took her to embrace. She escaped with a laugh to go take a bath and also her clothes to replace. The people of Chosen lived always in fear, knowing someday Yun San's men might appear. Maiden or married, the king did not care. He required entertainers, the fairest affair. If any resisted, she paid with her life. None ever escaped save one 